Yo, fellas, what's going on? It's Savage here. Welcome to one of my final Madden 18 Ultimate Team videos as Madden 19 is just a couple of weeks around the corner. And today, fellas, I'm going to be doing as to what I have promised. I don't even know if that was an English sentence, but pretty much a couple of weeks ago, I said, yo, guys, please go ahead and comment questions that you have about Madden 19 as I am one of the players. I, I was able to play the closed beta of Madden 19 and I can answer some of the questions that you may have regarding how the game plays and stuff like that that's what we're going to be doing today as well as opening up a ul weekly giveaway set so guys if you could since Madden 19 is right around the corner since we're going to be talking a little bit about Madden 19 if you guys could smack that like button i really really would appreciate it so yeah let's just go jump right into the ul weekly giveaway set reward before we actually go ahead let me pull up the questions right here I have the questions over here now let's see what we can pull out of this i've never pulled a 99 okay i've pulled a 99 I pulled 99 Terrell Davis. That's pretty freaking cool, man. I mean, yo, considering I don't play much, I wish they honestly did this like the day after the Super Bowl. Because that would be so lit, imagine. Because they always drop ULs the, like a week or two after the Super Bowl. Imagine if we all got a free Nat one, bro. Bro, that would just make so many... That, that would just make so many people continue to play this game and try to get the best team possible as right there we just got 299 okay now we got a trash one can we finish off with a banger 99 steve young i think for for it for, we're, we're gonna take jerry rice bro we're just gonna take jerry rice i mean yo he's considered the goat i'm i'm considered the goat too but yo so let, let's hop right into these questions now it's right there that was pretty dope man to see i was actually go ahead and pull 99 jerry rice i really wish i could give it away it'd be lit because i know there are believe it or not people that still play madden 18 every single day man but this is actually pretty it's pretty dope that we were able to pull him man pretty pretty freaking cool i'll leave him up on the screen as i go ahead and discuss your questions so yes Let's, let's start talking Madden 19. Being that it's right around the corner, like I said, man, and if you haven't already, be sure to kill that like button, bro. I'm just trying to get likes up before Madden 19, bro, because it's depressing when you upload videos and you don't get a lot of likes anymore because Madden 18 is kind of slow. But that's okay. So let's go. Let's just go right into question number one. Kobe Bean Bryant, 24. He said, if you were good at Madden 18, will you be good at Madden 19? Meaning how much different is the game? This right here is a beautiful startup question. Do you want to know why this is a beautiful startup question? Because this is a question that I feel like a lot of people should ask themselves every year as soon as they get the new game. Like what I do is whenever I play a new Madden, I get right into the game. I go right into practice mode. That's the first thing I do. I spend about five hours in practice mode just because I want to see if things from last year work this year. Because guess what? If something worked last year and it worked really well, wouldn't you want it to work again for you? So just try it again. And I, that's what I do. So I'm going to be completely 100% honest with you on an offensive standpoint with how I played the first, I want to say five months, six months of the game. I passed the ball pretty much every play until I got into the red zone, meaning like 20 yards. Then I might mix up some runs. It was at the later half of the year where I switched to a run heavy offense because I didn't realize that it was that much easier to run the, run the ball than actually go forth and make reads. So when you look at Madden 18 and that it was considered a very run heavy game, Madden 18 is run heavy, is run heavy. You can't, you can't say anything just from how the beginning of the year with the overpowered spin moves to the end of the year where pitch and dive and all draw were really, really glitchy and stuff like that. Um, it was a run heavy game. When you look at Madden 19 now, um, from what I can say, um, pretty much all, all, it, all it does come down to is are certain plays effective? Yes. Certain plays from this year are still effective in Madden 19. Are they as effective? No. For example, like a very brief example, pitch is not the same. It's not going to work as much. It, it works to a degree. It's not like how it was this year. And that's pretty much what I can kind of give you the comparison to. The super OP plays aren't OP. And that's good because that means that they realized we made a mistake. We made some sort of mistake with the coding that, that this play worked too well. And now all of a sudden they realized to themselves, guess what? We need to not make that play as good. Good job. They did that. They fixed it. Are some plays still effective? Absolutely. There are some plays that... The same reads are there. Are they super effective? Dog, it's like a Pokemon video. They're not super effective, but they're effective to the point where if your opponent isn't playing the proper defense, he's not going to excel. Now, if, if we, that, that's like the offensive standpoint. For the defensive standpoint, it's nothing 
Like Madden 18, nothing because there's no mega threshold. 91 zone doesn't mean your players can mind read what the quarterback's going to do, which is a good thing. That means you actually have to play real defense this year. My opinion for me, I played did super good this year and I didn't even try hard. I didn't even really play too super sweaty on defense. But my defense, you could sit, I mean, it's really corny when you think about it. You could literally play eight in coverage, three man rush, and your opponent wouldn't know what to do. That's 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 a good question right there by Kobe. So let's go to the next person, Dylan Schmidt. Are the running backs spins and jukes OP? No. To, from from what I've seen, no. And I personally feel like it's going to be a 70-30 pass to run game this year. I just don't feel like I really want to. I mean, maybe it's because I find passing to be more fun. Dude, what do you guys think is more fun? Breaking off a big run or or dotting up your opponent for like a bomb for a touchdown? What do you think is more fun? For me, it's passing. Um, during the entire beta, I would run. I Like I said, I tried the cheesy stuff. I wanted to see if all the cheesy stuff was in there. No, it's the runs aren't going to be like, you know, the, the same. Um for a lot of people that ask about animations and stuff with the run game this year it was like okay you would spin and the dude would go to antarctica that wasn't as re like that wasn't there it wasn't that much it wasn't like crazy now will your opponent like certain running backs that are bigger will fall forward if they're a larger running back like a strong running back like a uh, like a girly like a, even a tevin coleman who's who's a stronger running back than for example his, his counterpart Devonte freeman who's more of like an elusive agile back you'll notice Devonte freeman won't fall forward as a tevin coleman would when this year i feel like every freaking running back felt like barry sanders in madden 18 he would get hit stick by sean taylor and gain three yards and it just wouldn't make sense but next year, I don't think we're going to be seeing that problem too much. So the run game is, it's, it's definitely balanced. I like that a lot. I like, I like it. I like that way more than how it was this year. And I think it's going to open up for more fun games as well. Next, Jarrell, Jarrell Gaming. Man coverage, pass rush, and the new kicking interface any good? I, I don't know if he was serious about the new kicking interface. I didn't personally notice anything. I feel like it's the exact, it's a, it's identical. Like, I, it doesn't look different at all. Um, personally, it's just you click X and you time it and then you kick it. It's nothing different in my opinion. I don't know. Uh, man coverage and pass rush. Okay, so let's talk about pass rush first before I jump into man coverage. So, allegedly, um, the pass rush this year is, you know... It's, it's very interesting when, when you really want to talk about it because in a couple of the games that I did play online against real people, they would be user D-lining. And depending on what team they were, and most of the teams that I played against were either the Falcons or the Rams, when somebody was using Aaron Donald, it was legitimately one of the most annoying things ever because Aaron Donald would legit shed everybody. Now, most of the games I played as the Atlanta Falcons, who don't have the best O-line, they don't have the worst O-line, though. They were pretty solid O-line. I mean, you, know, you give Matt Ryan a decent amount of time to distribute the ball. But for the most part, a four-man rush sometimes, if the person was user D-line rushing, Aaron Donald would absolutely destroy me. And <laughs> I'd be like, bro, this actually is kind of annoying. But for the most part, if it was uh, you're going up against somebody who's strictly, you know, usering, I feel like it was, it was like, it was, it was not too, it wasn't too insane. There were some plays where you didn't have time because sometimes Aaron Donald would shed instantly. There would be some times where you did have time and you, you could roll out and you could move in that pocket uh with qb containing this year just like in madden 18 kind of the same concept if you roll out they will kind of loop you and they will make sure that you can't roll out which is real that's real football that is football that you can't complain about that stuff when that happens it means that your tackle did not have his seat set seat his feet set to actually go ahead and engage with the end or the linebacker coming off that side. So that is real football. That makes sense as to why that happens. But for the most part, user pass rushing did seem kind of, you know, cheesy. Uh, it's always cheesy, but yeah, I mean, it makes sense as to why it's cheesy because you're, you're pretty much relying on your AI to play coverage. But for the most part, if you're a good player, you can play against that. After you see it once, you normally will be able to dot it up for the rest of the game. But the final part of this question was man coverage. Man coverage is actually, I, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm liking that they're kind of doing this balance thing. Man coverage is pretty effective. Um, I like it. I think it's pretty good. I will probably use it a little bit depending on certain how they fix it from launch to how the beta played. Hopefully they do tone it down a little bit because yes, there were some situations where it didn't matter how good your receivers were. It would kind of just, you know, in a way, 
your receiver, if it was like a Julio against the Marcus Peters, I felt like if you ran 10 routes that weren't drags, Marcus Peters would lock you up seven out of the 10 times. Like if it was like a deep in route, like a up and then in, you'd get locked and it'd be really frustrating because the only way you could have beat it was with a drag. And that's not, that's, I mean, that is kind of how you beat man coverage. But I feel like if Julio Jones, who is considered a top three receiver in the league, goes up against Marcus Peters, who I mean, I guess you could say is a top 10 corner. Bro, like he should be beating Marcus Peters more than three times. Like, come on, bro. But that's that's my thoughts and opinions on man coverage, pass rush, and the kicking interface. So let's go to the next question. Are cover three beaters going to be the same? No. Um, they did a pretty decent job with fixing that up. Now, <laughs> there will be ways that you can work around it, bro. Um, I'll probably be dropping like some sort of videos this year to help you guys out with like how to expose uh, cover three, how to do that stuff. Because I know a lot of you guys like when I when I do drop informative videos to make you guys hopefully better players, because that's all I really do strive to do is make the best content, make the most entertaining gameplays, obviously win the most out of everybody. And, and of course, come in top, top 100, top 10 every single week for weekend league this year. That's going to be the goal, just like we did last year. And of course, I want to see you guys up there, too. So when it does really come down to it, do cover three beaters work identically? If that is what we are asking Milo, Milo Harris, if you are asking me, can you just fade a dude out of corner strike? No, no can't that just doesn't it doesn't work and yeah that's that's the answer to that question but we will find ways around it I'll, I'll beat it for you guys don't worry and final question do you think these schemes for offense and defense will stay the same or similar in Madden 19 so the reason that I kind of put this this is like the final question this is like the the full circle effect are the schemes in Madden 18 going to be or in Madden 19 are they similar or exactly the same to Madden 18 this is a very good question this kind of wraps everything up in a nutshell Personally, do I think, well, if we, if we want to get really technical with it, Madden, like EA, they do a thing called um, legacy coding. Legacy coding means that they take the coding from a game that was made X amount of years ago and they still incorporate it into their game today, which is why certain things work. Um, I learned this this year, actually. So essentially, like, you know, they could have coding in from Madden 10 in Madden 19. That's just what legacy coding is because it's like a legacy. It's like something that has always been with the company or the franchise or the game itself. And they carry it along all these years and you know, they just keep putting it in there. And the only way to get rid of legacy coding is to like recode the whole entire thing. And obviously that would take a lot of time and stuff. But with that being said, um, that is kind of why sometimes in Madden, you might see like, bro, why does bunch work so good? Because it's a legacy thing. It's just how bunch is always so good. And the only ways that they can really make sure that bunch isn't that super good is if they re chalk everything and then re redraw it up you know what i mean but time is money and stuff like that so you can kind of see why you know i guess they wouldn't want to do that but pretty much do i think that they will stay the same or similar um similar uh if anything not as similar as years past just because this year madden 18 was the first year where running really did dominate more than the past in my honest opinion i i don't i don't I just think that running this year was the most annoying thing to play against. Uh, just because, bro, you could have the best players and they just wouldn't get block sheds. I made a video on one of the devs actually saying that there was a glitch in wham, there was a glitch in pitch, and there was a glitch in stretch where the tackles and the guards sometimes would not even engage with a block. Meaning, or, or no, 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 that the, that the ends would not engage with the guards or the ends wouldn't engage with the tackles. So it would be a free block and you would have a seal and you would be able to just go off. And you'd literally the only player that you could really rely on was your user and that was a glitch that was in the game that that people knew and it's just like kind of frustrating to think about like hey they knew this was in the game but they didn't fix it like come on bro like but you can't because if you fix one thing it breaks 50 other things so for the most part i think that the that the general concept is going to be similar on how to win games um through the through the air of course but on the ground it's going to be interesting it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool to see who finds that glitchy run that everybody's going to start to spam i mean i know for me i'm going to definitely be relying on my reads again this year which is going to be awesome because i love passing the ball man it's annoying uh but i will be honest with you when you get in the red zone bro i run the ball i'll run the ball four if i'm at the one i run the ball three times and if i'm feeling it i'll run it again on fourth and goal but most of the time, I'll take my three just to play smart, man, especially a weekend league. But yo, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. I really do appreciate all the questions that you guys asked. 
I, I know Mad 19, Mad 19 right around the corner, bro, and it just sucks that, like, right, we're at, like, that weird stage where, like, I sure as hell don't want to play this game, Madden 18, you guys don't want to play Madden 18, but it's cool that what we can do is, right now, is make these little Madden 19 videos and stuff like that, so once I get more, once, once they start leaking some more stuff about Madden 19 Ultimate Team, that's where I'm really going to be excited, can't wait to see how they do Weekend League this year as well, I can't wait to make a video on that. But yeah, guys, I mean, a pretty lengthy video. I just wanted to cover everything that you guys have asked. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smack a like on the button. I'm excited for Madden 19, man. We're going to hit 100K this year. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye.